proof. No chaser. Welcome to Truth No Chaser. I'm Ashley. And I'm Jay. And I'm Frank. And this is the podcast for black people, by black people, about everything black. This is our flagship production, and we are a shot of truth stirred with bold opinions, reversing the miseducation of the black community as it relates to culture, health, and politics. And today, joining us, we have the lovely Miss Maya. Hey, y'all. Yes, 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 yes. Thanks We're for joining on. us. Yes. Maya, Thank you for having you me. Yes. I'm so happy to be here. Of Thank course. you. Absolutely. Thank you. Maya has dropped by to talk to us and educate us and all of you all out there about the infamous. About the infamous. What? BBL. <laughs> Brazilian <laughs> butt lift, if you don't know what that yes. means, y'all. <laughs> Absolutely. Get, uh, get you one. <laughs> <laughs> Talk so we it. have some questions. We have some, uh, yeah, interesting dialogue that you want to share with us, so the mm-hmm. people know. Because yes, I'm curious. So I'm wait, let me let me all. let me clarify. Before we get in there, the, <laughs> let me clarify the question. Did you have a BB a Brazilian butt lift? Yes, absolutely. Let, let the people hear. Absolutely, one hundred percent. So that's the that's definition what of what you had. Yes. Okay. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Because it's so many. It's all kinds of stuff. Cosmetic going on. procedures out now, there. Because that's different from the, the booty shots. That's Absolutely, one hundred percent. A Brazilian butt lift takes the fat that you cultivated me from crab legs, uh, <laughs> hookah at the club on the weekends. But no, they take the fat out of your own body. You know, your you can get it out your chin, your mm-hmm. arms, even your breast. You know, your thighs, and then they just you know re place it in your buttocks so it's strictly so, a fat transfer yeah it's just a fat transfer so they mm-hmm. do call it a brazilian butt lift but it's truly just a fat transfer you know ash uh, well ash shots or like any injections they take like um I don't want to say foreign antibodies because I don't want the girls to be mad. Mm -hmm. But they take, you know, whatever they take and put in those syringes and then they give injections. So Mm -hmm. a Brazilian uh, butt lip or a fat transfer, like you literally, your doctor takes the fat out. Then they like put it through this thing to clean it. And then they like put it back in your body. Put it back in your -hmm. your, your bottom. Absolutely. In your buttocks. In your buttocks. (laughs) So So, what's the difference? I'm sorry. No, no, no. What's the difference between lipo? in the bbl okay so with the bbl you have Great to get question. a lipo they call it like uh they usually see you'll see it say a lipo 360 in the mm-hmm. bbl so you get lipo and the 360 lipo that they talk about is around your midsection so like a 360 so they take the lipo is where they suck the fat out oh. and then the bbl essentially comes into play what's well, the whole process it all goes together but the fat transfer is when they take your own fat from the lipo and then they put it back oh. Oh, okay, so, so you uh, can't have a BBL without a lipo. Lipo. So you, oh. lipo suction. You have to get oh. lipo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. Jesus, lipo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they suck the fat out like you can't. You have to get lipo and get to be able to get a B to okay. get a BBL no. or fat transfer. You do not have to get a BBL in order to have to lipo. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. You don't like because when I go again, like I'm not gonna get okay, again. Another. So because so some people have, just get the lipo, they just get the fat. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throwing in the trash. So you say again. So how many have you had? I've had two BBLs. Okay, so curious to know. Mm-hmm. The first one the ass wasn't big enough for no, you? No, it wasn't. And then um, I went to <laughs> Miami. I stayed in the States because everybody feels how they feel about BBLs. But me personally, thankfully, my uh, parents were very supportive. And they lived in Florida at the time. And so I just was like, it would be easier for me to go to Florida. And if something happened, you know, my mom going to come shut it down. And my dad came with me both times. So anyways, long story short, I went twice because uh, in Florida, they can only legally take out so many liters. So it was like oh, five yeah. liters okay. of fat that okay. they could take out. So it really only equates out to like 10 to 12 pounds. So it's really not that much. So you want the ass. Oh, baby, yeah, because if we're going to do it, let's do it. Okay? You know, I didn't come to flat. You know, I've been shaped like SpongeBob for a very long time. Okay? So, 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 again, yeah, okay, cool. So I'm happy you mentioned that. So let's back up real quick. All right. And let's start with, (laughs) let's start with. Uh, the journey first, okay. like 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 the the reasoning, your the reasoning decision. behind it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so me personally, I'm not not even gonna hold you. Like even when I was a young girl back in my hometown of Peoria, Illinois, like I've always just wanted a big butt. Like you know, my I definitely had a booty do. My stomach was hanging. 
to my knees, okay? So I was just, I've always wanted, a, you know, a bigger butt, but I've always just wanted to be comfortable in my right, skin, right, you know? Right, so right. Um, as much as people may not like to hear because they think you get a BBL for niggas, all that, like, you know, oh. I get niggas, honey, so that's not the problem. I really did do it for, for myself. You. Like, I wanted to look good. Like, I was like, I'm going to order these clothes. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to feel great about myself, you know what I'm saying? So my journey more so was I've always wanted one. Even before I even knew what a BBL was, I'm just like, I wonder how I can get a flatter stomach and yeah. not have a almost like an indented ass. I feel like my ass caved in. Like I just, I did not have no booty. It was nothing. It was non-existent. It wasn't there. So I've always wanted one. So I've been researching BB. Like I be, um, I'm in, I'm be 33 this year. So I have probably been researching BBLs like early on since like I probably was like 19, oh, 18. Wow. Yeah. I have been one of one, but you know, like I come from a small town, you know, I was like, I'm going to get a BBL, but I knew I was one day I was going to figure it out. So I've always wanted one. Me personally is I didn't get on social media, see no video girls, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Because some of the girls is skinny. Like some girls think their butts is big and I don't think they're that big. I'm like, no, I want to, you know, a nice size butt. So, so I was like, I'm going to give you one. Because I have so many, so much to go with. Right, so go ahead, right, Frank. Right, I'll, right, I'll right, let you go. Right. Like, yeah, I'm so, going to go. So, 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 so the comment, the comment, right? Mm -hmm. I, I always got niggas. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. But when the, the ass that you had previously though before the year surgeries yeah what those the type of niggas that you wanted um they so because let's, let's because be honest I, because, real question. yeah yeah yeah, yeah because, let's because, be honest because be honest with you like i, I so I, I hear that comment often from right. women, the women that have surgeries that act like the dude don't play no part mm -hmm. in their decision mm. you understand what i'm saying but you know you see yourself in the mirror every day mm -hmm. and there's a lot about you that if you're unhappy right. with with yourself, you can kind of imagine what the the person is seeing from the outside. It, proje so, it projects, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, did did they, did they have a little bit more of a motivation? Like we, where now you was you was you was maybe attracting Todd for your personality, <laughs> but now you getting interest Darrell with the <laughs> Darrell with the nine inch that kind of like you know so saying? yeah yeah you understand <laughs> what I'm saying like the verified Instagram so <laughs> so, so I mean did, did, did you play a little bit of a motivated factor in your decision um I would say in a sense I wouldn't know if it would play a factor but I do agree with you that like when the people that I may have attracted before I got a BBL were different in a sense that you know people love is love and all that shit but you mm -hmm. do want somebody who look good so i you know what i'm saying it is what it is what it is i don't have no problem with that because like i said i might i don't want to say i'm a vain person but you know i want to look good so any like the, the men i was attracting were they the niggas that i wanted probably not you know what i'm saying yeah. once i got the lipo we sucked all them old niggas out and threw them in the trash so probably not you but know then, what i'm but saying then, but then maybe you do that in trash but then you came, got, came you to got fuck the niggas. ones. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Come to fuck niggas. Like, how do you deal with that though? Because I know it's probably who just want exactly. the one thing. <laughs> so now that now now that you, you oh oh you know. I, well, one thing I will say is that like there's a lot of people who I've met who didn't do who never even knew who I was before I had a BBL. So I don't put it on people to be like, Oh, you ain't want me till I had got my ass done. Even though I do have niggas like that in my life that, you know, like it's some niggas that I liked and they did not, was not feeling me like mm -hmm. that. I got my ass done. And now these niggas on my head, like, why you don't want to be blah, blah, blah. And, and like, then now you can curve, now you can curve them. About to run your pocket. Now you can curve them, right? Take like, your life insurance you policy. You thought I was feeling yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> nah, you thought I was feeling you? Now you hear what you said. Get the, now I get to run your pocket. Yeah. You get to run because your how dare you do me like that? I no. had a spectacular personality right. before I got my business. Wow. Yeah. Charlie Murphy, the tables have turned. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, uh, um, that's a fair question because I, I feel I feel like, especially here in Atlanta, the BBL is like a gap closer. Mm -hmm. I was talking with uh, mm -hmm. Jazz, actually, and I was like, yo, there was this lady, who, the girl who posted this real, I don't know if y'all, I think I shared it with y'all. It's kind of dope, deep post. And she was talking about how she, all of her friends are really pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of her friends are really attractive. And when she goes out with her friends, she's never the one that gets approached. And then when she's by herself, she doesn't get approached that much. And when she does get approached, but she's by herself, it's by older dudes or this, that, the third. Basically what Frank said, mm -hmm. not who she wants at all. Mm -hmm. So she was like, but when, you know, when she might post a picture by herself, then she'll get all kinds of love, this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. And then people are like, how come you don't feel pretty? You know, feel you're very pretty. She's like, but my experiences tell me different. Because especially when I roll with my pretty friends and they're all getting approached and I'm not. And I said, when dudes are in that situation, 
most secure men don't care. They mm-hmm. just like, right, right, you right, know, right. I roll with Frank. Frank get all the chicks, so you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna get my. It's gonna be my day when I roll down. <laughs> He's speaking hi- but, hypothetically, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's a happily married man. <laughs> but when we, but when, when, but with insecure men, the way they close the gap, because we talked about ladies, so I'm even it up, big fair. They close the gap by hitting the gym, getting money. Or getting status or some combination of all three. Especially those first last two you just said. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they lead, lead with the money. They yeah. lead with that money. Okay, they, I, I, like to, I, like, I hang I out like with so and so and so and so. I know so and so. Yeah, that's dropping. their that's their gap closer. They mm-hmm. get status like I know you know where I mm-hmm. be. Or they get money or they get in the mm-hmm. gym, they get no muscles and they and they, they leave with one of those three. Like you said, they sure lead enough. with it. Right. That's very key. Absolutely. That's what they, that, that's the, the, they paint that and so I feel like with to Frank's question is okay. For a lot of women, the BBL is a gap closer. It closes the gap between the quote unquote pretty ones, the, not the pretty ones, because uh, uh, who's in position to say who's pretty, who's not? Their experience of who's getting approached and who's not. And they have more leverage if they have the big ass. And who's getting approached, right? What type, what type of nigga you gonna approach? Uh huh. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got that. Go ahead, Ash. You got. Yeah, someone that you want. To oh no, I was control. I was gonna go into there, but she mm-hmm. kind of mentioned on it. And my thing was in no shade to you, but I was wondering if was it in the insecurity thing that kind of led you to yeah. wanting this? Because a lot of women, as you said on Instagram, you know, we're scrolling. You're like, dang, look at her ass. Or, damn, look at her. You're know saying and you're wondering like, well, how can I get to where she is? Do I have to get my body fixed? Do I have to get a bigger ass? Do I have to do that? Whatever. So for me, my question was to you: Was it an insecurity push where I want to be? I, I want to be on a ten. I might be at a seven or six right now, mm-hmm. but I want to be on a ten. Do I, does my ass need to be bigger to match that? Um, mm-hmm. I mean, I guess you, you could view insecurity how you would, however you would want it. You know what I'm saying? Because some people, like the dude I was talking to yesterday, he was like, "It's nothing wrong. We're all insecure about things." But me personally, I wouldn't necessarily say I felt insecure by like seeing other people. Me, just myself, I had always, even since I was like I said, like younger, I had always thought like, you know, I just want to you know look good in my clothes right. i want to feel good when i go yeah, out but go. i will even say like when i first moved here and i was 20 years old and my home girl you know what i'm saying she was dancing in the strip clubs or whatever i never looked at the other girls and was like oh my god oh, okay. to be able to come that, yeah. in to yeah. come off 21 i'm gonna have to go get a bbl whole time i'm working at comcast like how i'm gonna save it for my bbl because i'm gonna get it however i want because i wanted one even before even i saw before. Them. Mm. so being around pretty women honestly for me it kind of just made me feel like you know i'm saying she looked good you know and i and it make me even more confident it make me feel like hell yeah i'm about to get my bag up and go get a bbl the girls in here and i'm not even saying that they had bbl right it just made me feel you know even more comfortable being around beautiful women and it's like mm. you know of course i love myself i think i'm beautiful but that don't yeah. have to do with the fact that i feel like i'm fat like i know i look good in the face but i know i won't you know what i'm saying my body to match so i truly genuinely in my deepest of hearts i never saw nobody with no fat ass and said i want to get a fat ass like her or because I feel like I need to have a fatter ass it's really as vain and self-centered as it sounds it I mean, was like, I was it's like I was like I want to look no good. like that's, that's <laughs> you, you are literally the perfect guest for the subject matter a because yeah. you own you own your your, your, truths. your truth yes, yeah. and, 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 and to, that's something that we've all either individually have done mm-hmm. on episodes mm-hmm. shared some very hard truths yeah. some vulnerabilities or we've had other guests that that's kind of a part of our branding mm-hmm. so um Truth that's really chaser. awesome because i think i feel like i'm listening to you and i'm and I, i'm not a woman but mm-hmm. I, i'm imagining if i'm a woman that's on the fence mm-hmm. or right. a woman that was like you know thought felt some kind of way about it i feel like you're offering a valuable different mm-hmm. perspective thank you good point good point good point i there's um you know just just in preparation for the show you mm-hmm. know i encourage the team of various articles and okay. videos and stuff like that for them to do research mm-hmm. and stuff, right? So we can be equipped for this conversation. But um, the what what almost makes it laughable is the doctors that come away with stories like everybody comes in here and says they want they want give me the Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. give me the J Lo. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and not to make poke fun at anyone else's insecurity. That's not what we're doing here. Mm-hmm. But it does make it a little bit, you know, uh, entertaining. You know, when you sit there, we 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 laugh at the, the ones that 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 are that vain mm-hmm. that want to be like, oh, I want the 
an you know, they, 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 they yeah. cuz they 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 talking about it like mm-hmm. it's a like it's a haircut right 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 you know right. what i'm saying like back in the days give me the bobby brown <laughs> it, it is nowadays what we talking about it is it is nowadays exactly. it is that costs a couple of thousand dollars <laughs> yeah they go and say give me give me Jan jackson cheekbones give me so and so's nose give me so and so's ass that's 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 crazy because they have in their mind a menu they have a right good job they have a menu on what they feel is going to make perfection. Right, right, right. It sucks, you know? It and sucks. that's tough. It makes me feel like it's... Yeah, it does. It makes me feel like I'm not a woman. I'm not a woman. Right, right. It, but it makes me feel like it sucks to be a woman because a dude, like... You know, y'all know I'm not the cutest thing in the world. I could... You know, I gained a lot of pounds since college. Mm-hmm. My wife let me... You were single, you still be good. I still be straight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> still be good. <laughs> still be good. We know, we, we know, we know, we know, and, and then we knew, we would know what we could pull and what we can't. And then we would just. And, and we we, we, yeah. underst- we understand where our box is. If something come out the box on the good side, yo, yo, yo. But there's nothing, the about, there's nothing that we can do to like, like say like, oh damn, maybe I need to. Tighten up on this, so well, I can we be talked able about to that on nah, the phone call, but we don't want to go there. What Mean Tiff suggested guys could do, but that's surgery. But we're not going there. No, uh, we can. <laughs> we can. The, 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 so we had spoke about the penis, penis enlargement. enlargement. We spoke about the penis enlargements, right? Why? No need. But the, but the, but the thing is, <laughs> absolutely no need. But, it, but hey. the thing is, <laughs> is that a bad thing? But as far uh, as not a bad thing, just as far as networking, I'm sorry, as far I'm not as networking, when I, gave the, when I gave it, they're not going to discuss it. I'm not familiar with that need. <laughs> when I gave the our, people out there may need it, it's oh, no. embarrassed. When Go I gave, when I gave, when I gave our mutual friend Ursula, mm-hmm. uh, um, uh, get uh, black girls, black girls getting their shift together mm-hmm. podcast. When Ooh, you know when she fun. when she referred you, mm-hmm. you know because she's like, I know someone that had a BBL. Mm-hmm. How can you even introduce? How can you even ask a person if they got a penis enlargement? That's a, that's a, it's, a, it's a part that's, that's in the pen. So what am I going to go and say like, hey, you look like you had a penis enlargement. You want to be on our podcast? <laughs> the fuck? Like, how do you even do that? How, 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 do, you, how do you do that research? And, and, and guys are not going to openly admit that. No. Not, you know, they're, they're not going to be, they, we're not going to find a Maya, no. a male version of Maya. We're going to hire Maya. Yeah, me and Maya are going to go on a search and we're going to find out. Because right. okay, no problem. Whip your dick out. Let me no see problem. it. <laughs> Just, put put hey, it on the table. Just bring. Just bring. Ashley has two drinks. <laughs> so just, just bring, so y'all know, I'm double fist. Bring, she no, has bring. two drinks. That, that, that was a Merlot party. Y'all bring all that information back to Tiffany B. Glenn. Yeah, because she, she gonna yes, be right here. She's gonna head up. Room. She's gonna head it up. That's mm-hmm. not a. That's not a research <laughs> field. That it's she's not gonna a field involved. group research thing. But n- I mean, that's true. But not honestly. Let's get, let's get back to the topic. Yeah, again. yeah, yeah. Because okay. I that because I am. Yeah, right. That is like penis large about the penis. If you had one, hit us up in our DMs. Um, no shade. Slide on me. I want. I we like to go hit get Ashley's Ashley's DM. Uh, Hit Ashley up <laughs> <laughs> DM. Yeah. if you had a dick enlargement. Hit Ashley up. <laughs> that Kevin Hart just swinging. But anyways, okay. so anyways, um, yes, I am huge on um mental health. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, we we all are huge on mental mm-hmm. health. So, do you think that had a part to play in, in any part of yours? your surgery or do you, or either us out there do you no know question. people that have had mm, one as well question. um no i know a lot of people who have had them i know a lot of girls who have had bbls and i will say sometimes because um in the public is such a heavy opinion on bbls girls feel like maybe they can't come to someone and say hey i don't like the way i look right. after my surgery because everybody's like oh y'all be everybody look the same everybody get bbls they all mm-hmm. look the same but even to go back to what y'all had said before when girls go in and it's basically like just a the menu, menu you, you yeah. can pick from me personally i have been researching it for so long i did not go in want to look like no celebrity because first of all we live in Atlanta in my mind I am a celebrity come on BBL just add to it you feel what I'm saying I feel like I'm a celebrity so anyway long to- Atlanta that's Atlanta for you everybody <laughs> yeah. feel like they're a celebrity I feel, I feel like here, I'm a celebrity bro. down here so oh, it just Murray. was like but I just say all that to say I know a lot of girls who have had BBLs. I know girls in my groups who went in and said they want to look like a celebrity. Me personally, I literally uh, researched my doctor and I made uh, like a poster board of all asses he did. And I oh, took wow. it to him. I said, okay, now when you did that, but I also did my research. I was realistic. I was a bigger girl. I had to lose 40 pounds before I could have my BBL. So I went into it knowing, you know what I'm saying? You taking nothing, trying to turn it into something. That's why I don't be get upset. Like sometimes I feel like the girls, when you had a BBL, they trying to take digs at me. Like, oh, well, why did you have two? And I was like, well, if you really researched and you wasn't trying to be funny, bitch, Ooh. you would know <laughs> that if you're a bigger girl or, or even my best friend, me and my best friend went together. She's skinny just like you. She a skinny girl. She is funny to go get another bbl it's just sometimes you want more projection and things like that but i just 
say all that to say back to the mental health question some people don't feel like it's a safe space to say hey right. you know it's I'm, I'm eight weeks post-op and i don't feel good about myself so honestly for me because i sit on the bbl clergy board so you can't make me feel bad about uh, having no bbl i'm an it's advocate the for the <laughs> <girl>. <laughs> it's that confidence for me i'm, I love I'm, it. I'm the advocate for the other bbl girl especially because i'm a That's bigger girl funny. so you know you're not gonna make me feel no type of way you know like oh well why you don't look like you know what i'm saying from what I came from, baby, I'm that girl. Yeah. So I just, you know, say all that to say my mental health, like with my first BBL, I just thank God. I have friends. We pray. We took her to the altar. I prayed. To I was, the altar. I was, I was, I was, before my, when my doctor <laughs> came altar. in, we prayed. I said, give me your hands, Mr. Man, because the Lord needs to know. God made a way for me to be able to pay for this BBL. So you better get in here and do your <laughs> shit. Because I didn't take off work. I have to use my FMLA to <laughs> come here and play with you. <laughs> hey. God Rip made a way. He, he, did. he did. He did. So I just tell that to say, well, Jesus my mental health. Uh, I'm trying to tell you, God the hands, and he did it. So yeah. she got it from Brazilians 413. <laughs> and and that, that part, because you keep touching on that part of your research, how did you do your research? Because a lot of people out Yo, there made baby she curious. She went to the doctor was like, this is you. This is what you did. Right. That's, that's that's what what I'm saying. So what did that's you, you. Yeah, like, no, so it's what took entail to it? Like, what kind of research besides oh. a doctor? Like, how would. Okay, so I made a a completely separate Instagram. I made a surgery Instagram. I looked up my doctor. You can research, like, you know, their um, statistics and if they've had any deaths, all that's public record. So I just researched him down there, you know, because my doctor was in Miami. Shout out to Dr. Dress at Ivana Plastic Surgery in Miami. He hooked me up. But, um... Anyway, so I just would do my research. Like, I researched him. I reached out to so many girls who had surgery by him. It's an entire Facebook group that I'm a part of. They all, we all went to the same doctor. It's an app. It's a, it's an app. It's a, it's an app called Real Self. It literally in real time gives you update play by plays by girls who've had surgery. We have wonderful YouTube. Real Self. Yeah, Real, real self. self. It's an app. You literally can go. Technology, you literally can go. You pick the surgery you want to have, where you want to have it, when you want to have it, and you get this list. People People who've gone to your doctor, they giving you updates, showing you pictures, recommendations. She's full of information. Yeah, it's like wow. Sheen. It was like I, sh- like Sheen and and, and fashion <laughs> over for BBL. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. You pick it from it. <laughs> yeah. You can just create a plan what you want. Pay that deposit, baby, and it'd be your turn. So, so with all that That's research that so you took and all that time you mm-hmm. took and years you took. Yeah. Were there any negative side effects? I was yeah. That that was because be I, my we question, see so yeah. many. We hear about so many deaths be, before. Getting there. Keep that question on in mind. Yeah. Did you have a legal BBL? BBL? Oh, absolutely. My doctor is board certified. I mean, she shot him out, so I'm hoping so. Yeah, I know. She said I wanted to make that clear <laughs> no, for people. Yeah. Okay. And then I figured thing, that I want to make. Like I tell the girls, I'm not one of those girls who plays like that. You listen to what your doctor said. Like I said, I had to lose weight to get surgery. I wanted surgery beforehand. Mm-hmm. No, your BMI have to be right. Like people will, some doctors will let you come, or people will go to the DR. They BMI that, 45. Yeah, that's it, DR. And mm-hmm. and I'm not judging nobody. I'll never victim shame. But to your question, there are. There's so many um, deaths or things like that, but yeah. there is a long list of things that your doctor tell you to do before your surgery, and it's up to you. You didn't pay this money right. to abide by, and this is elective surgery at that. So you would think you would want to do what your doctor told you to do. Right. And me personally, I've invested my money, you know, my emotions, everything into this. I said, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do with these dumb folks. Then, if I wasn't gonna listen no other time, I was gonna listen now. So I'm not ever blaming the death on people, but people do things even as simple as they don't stop smoking before surgery you know smoking especially tobacco it thins your blood out so you go lay on this table you might you know what i'm saying bleed out things like that so i tell people all the time i follow what i was supposed to do right. for my was, surgery. Yeah, that, that was, i did what i was supposed to do so that was a that was a question that was a question from tiffany that you know what besides weight loss mm-hmm. because uh we we joke all the time about 600 pound life and stuff like that we, and the doctor always tells them before they do surgery on them they have to they're required to lose mm-hmm. a certain amount of weight so we we're familiar with that but uh you said smoking what yeah. are some other things that they would um they tell suggest you like you? um some girls their hemoglobin like you may need to eat a uh, red meat like my uh best friend who went with me she had to get her um hemoglobin up because it has to be at like a 12 or something like that to be because you also have to get cleared for surgery a lot of people don't know that you have to get cleared for surgery now thankfully i live in a place like atlanta so there are doctors who literally have like bbl clearance packages and so i found this great doctor i went to him both times and like a bbl clearance package you're 
your surgeon who does your surgery literally gives you a checklist of everything like how you would get your panels ran when you get into physical you have to get all your panels ran yo um hemoglobin has to be at a certain thing all these things that don't even make no sense have to be at i shouldn't say make no sense i didn't really know yeah. past the hemo uh, what my hemo level was my weight my bmi you know it's a whole list of things you have to make sure you're not pregnant you know all this stuff there is a lot of um there's a lot of things that you have to do to cross your t's and dot your eyes to get cleared for surgery and it, it, it's very tedious like i tell people they're like you know getting the surgery to me honest to god the hardest part well the most um nerve-wracking and anxiety inducing parts for me was getting cleared for surgery because i ain't got these people my money ain't no refund i'd have bought these plane tickets to go down to miami and so it's not that i didn't think i wouldn't get cleared it just was something but it's a lot of steps that you have to take that some people you know may not follow you have to stop smoking they say improve your diet as time gets closer you know you are supposed to stop drinking 30 days beforehand like you know the girls be down in miami drinking the night before you know and then yeah. going and trying to flush it out with water lying to their doctor you right, know what i'm right, saying right, 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 right. trying to um Shit. do these real fast diets 30 days before your surgery because you're trying to lose your last five pounds like there are rules that you should adhere to with any surgery but this is an elective one so i tell people all the time just do what your doctor tell you to do even mm -hmm. if i even like with my recovery you know what i'm saying like i'll tell the girls baby they tell you not to drink for six weeks and i didn't listen and i swole up like a blowfish so do as i say not as i do listen to what the people tell yeah. you if you if no other time you're gonna listen to a doctor listen to him now so so with the, with the BBLs, they say it's definitely the deadliest mm -hmm. of the yeah. cosmetic surgeries. Yeah. However, I did see read that um, when done legally, mm -hmm. the the risk is way less. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but it's in the thousands. Yeah. To those, the ones that do, do that go the illegal mm -hmm. route and get the inject the silicone injections and stuff like that, right? What? Like what? What is your what are your thoughts on those? On um, you know I don't try and judge nobody. So the way that I will preposition is that I would never do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? This fat I made. This fat I ate what I wanted. That was mine. So as far as a quick mm -hmm. fix, because there's even some girls I know. A lot of girls that, feel better about my fat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, it. I, I ate this shit. This is mine. Okay. I was mine <laughs> they bet you carried a child. I carried the fat. I cultivated that. Okay. It was a right. lot of meals that went into that fat. Yeah. That was mine. Yeah. So I would feel completely comfortable taking a gut and putting it in the butt. You know, get up under these arms. <laughs> I'd have been making macaroni and cheese, get up under here and get it and put it back up in me. But any foreign, <laughs> anything foreign, it's just not for me. Right. I'm not judging nobody because it's a lot of really mm. skinny girls. Why why they talk about the BBL girls, a lot of your favorite celebrities have had injections because like my best friend and a lot of girls I know, one of my best friends, I got a BBL. I went with my best friend. They had to gain weight to get a BBL. A lot of girls don't want to do that because when you're in the public eye and you got to have a photo shoot next Wednesday, you can't just gain 15 pounds and then take at least six weeks off if you're going to recover properly. Yeah. So they'll go get injections. And I'm not judging you. I could possibly see where you're coming from, even though I'm not going to go do nothing. So I'm not going to say, I think you're a goofy ass bitch if you go in someone's yeah. basement and get ass injections. I'm just going to say that. That's I wouldn't do it. That I, would do. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do it. I'm not going yeah. to judge I'm not going to judge him, but you're a goofy ass bitch if you do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but you're a goofy ass bitch, but no judgment. None. I wouldn't do it. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. I would never, but love yeah. the girls. I was, I was watching, this, watching this one interview with uh, Dr. Oz and... um. K Michelle and I was like, damn, why did you do the illegal she injection? Her, oh. She did, yeah, she did the injection. Yeah, yeah that was I like, like the crazy. intercontinental on Peachtree. Not for me, no. Uh, intercontinental. That's what they said. Like a lot of I shouldn't say like K Michelle. I don't research, know none of so that. I believe what but I they say. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. But a lot of the girls when it got illegal butt injections. Like you have people like you know, like I said, I don't get big into celebrities, but you know, like you have Jada, you have Cardi B who tell the girls, This what I went and did, don't go do that. Wait, Jada. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she Jada had booty injection. Jada Pinkett? No, 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 not Jada Pink, a little baby uh Jada uh, 
Little baby mama. Oh, no, hey, like she, that. she looked like a walking oh, surgery. Okay. I, I love you. Jada. I but you. she, but she, you know, like they'll tell the girls, you know, I had injections. Don't, you know, necessarily go do what I did. Mm-hmm. I feel like if that's something that you want to do, my, me personally, because like I said, I sit on the BBL clergy board, I feel like the best route to go, you can't go wrong, <laughs> take nothing about you and putting it back in you. You know what I'm saying? Wait, yeah. you sit on but, the what? Because you said that be pre show. They didn't, the people didn't catch that. You sit on the what? The, B- the BBL, BBL clergy board. BBL clergy board. I do. <laughs> I do. The clergy board. Maybe I don't. God, no, I take it to the altar all the time because Lord knows I'm unhinged, so I have to stay close to the Lord. So I do sit on the BBL clergy board. My friends joke about that all the time. They like speaking of friends in the clergy board. Mm-hmm. Once you decided to finally go through with this because mm-hmm. you've been researching it for years mm-hmm. and you really like have, have a doctorate in this because you you know your ish girl. I'm just saying, like right. I'm like, damn girl. Okay, right. so Doctor yeah. Maya, PhD, PhD, and BBL. did you do did do. you lose any friends? Do you have any any negative feedback from anybody? I mean, you had supportive parents. You just said that people but, like, that were close. Yeah, does anybody yeah. like judge about, yeah, you differently? You know, and I know a lot of girls who did have that, but truly I didn't, and I am so thankful. You know, like right. for the most part, because I'm a very humble person. I had the same personality. Now I just have a fat ass. You know what I'm saying? But my, for literally, for, people were happy for me because I worked hard. I went to the gym. I was out here. I got what I needed to do. I got my money to get my BBLs. You know what I'm saying? No handouts, but if you do want a handout, you can hit me in my DMs because now I'm out here. But I did what I needed to do to get my BBL, so I didn't lose nobody. People encouraged me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, my dad came with me both times. The first time I didn't feel comfortable flying up. back home, my dad drove me from Miami back to Atlanta. Like my dad, that's my that's road a good dog. Dad right there. He was with me, and I was like, Dad, how do you feel? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If somebody daughter. um nah. says something to you, like your Child daughter out here shit. getting a BBL. Nah. And he was like, but not nobody say shit to me about you. I love you. If you want to go get your ass done, you'll get your ass done. And so, you know, I didn't lose no friends. And I don't go into situations thinking that I'm better than you because I have a fat ass now. I just have a fat ass now. It's something that I wanted. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like getting your lashes done. Like, just because you wear strips, I don't think I'm better than you because I wear individual extensions. Hello, somebody. Even though I love individual I mean, extensions. They, 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 you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to judge you. I don't think I'm better than nobody. I just... I'm happy did you understand any of that, now. Frank? I did. <laughs> Tiff did. <laughs> Tiffany be loving it because she looked back and she was like, mm-hmm, so, yeah, yeah, we know. So Maya. <laughs> so so Good Maya, analogy. like, like, see, so so we need people like Maya in our lives. So she's she's oh, sits in the clergy, oh, right, for, for I surgery. Now. I so so Maya, look over to your left, right? You mm-hmm. see that short dude in the middle? <laughs> yeah. That's like that's that's every picture. I'm pretty much the shortest dude in every picture, right? So they got the surgery now, right? Where okay. You can like kind of oh, put the rods look at, in your, okay. in your Look at Tip in the background. Mm-hmm. You can put the rods in your kneecap or whatever, <laughs> kind of make you taller and shit. What'd you say about that? Right? What'd you think? I mean, that's a very strenuous surgery, but I feel like I don't, didn't, didn't, didn't the one dude, he went from like five, four to damn near six foot. You yeah, feel me? It's too much. Yeah. It's too much? I don't know. Don't they break your knees to do that? They got to. They have to, I heard they got to break your knee. That's yeah. the thing about it. Shout out to Kevin Hart. I, hey, I'm having, I'm having, an, uh, we having an informative conversation here. Can y'all? Thank you. No, we, we laugh because. Okay. You didn't see the new Kevin Hart show. No, nah, I didn't. We call it a uh, uh, so catch up. So okay. so so uh, yeah. You got to break your knees. <laughs> they put a, a artificial rod in there. The recovery time <laughs> is like four months or some oh, shit like that. Frank, 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 wait, Frank, hold up. Did you really? really no, no, pause, pause. 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 <laughs> Have you really done the research on this? Why? Why wouldn't I? You finna pay your deposit? Why wouldn't I? I saw, I saw okay. the, the same dude that you talking about. I saw it. I said, oh, they can do that shit now? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the, oh, the the biggest thing that the, the, it's the recovery time. <laughs> like, oh, like, the, re, the recovery it's time. It's a new chef in town. Hold on. <laughs> the recovery time. Four months. It's four months. Oh, it's five foot that's shit, that's really the tears. only. That's really the only turn off. That's a long really. ass time. That's a long ass time. Yeah. But because the money. <laughs> not that's really the only turn off. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. They, 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 Should oh, you work sorry. from the crib? I guess you yeah. I'm sorry. This is, a ju- this is a judgment for you. Yeah, I ain't judging. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just, I'm this is news. Like, I didn't know you yeah. actually were like really researching. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should say, say, mm. say, it's like 75, 75 G's. That's not Damn. Bad. That's that, that, my boy Frank. Not bad. Bad. My boy Frank will never get that. That's not bad. 7,500. I know my boy. I know. I know. But the people who are new to the show, who otherwise might not watch it, they don't know that. Yeah, I got to do some coverage for my boy. He's just playing. He would never do that. I wouldn't do it. Wait, 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 wait. No shade if you would. Right. It just, the 75 G's in turn, it was a four month. <laughs> that's a long time that's to lay down. Time. That's a long time to be. be My nigga can't get his knees done. Cause how we gonna be humping him for, for not for four months? So four months. 
Fuck it. You better put some shoes on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you got to roll. You got to roll. nigga can't get his knees done. That's yeah, too you gotta, long. Yeah, you got to be on top for four months. Hell yeah. no. You're a goddamn That's not fair. How, many, how long did you have to lay down? Uh, yeah, was it wasn't that long. The first time it was like mm, six to eight weeks. And then the second time since I was, you know, not new to this, I was true to true this. True to this. Well, my <laughs> second time, like, it was like three weeks. I was like, I was back to it real quick. Okay, so real question, quick. is it re- is it real, like, you have to sit up when you fly back? Or did you, you got to ride through that? So, so no, when I flew, I flew back the first time and the second time that I flew back while they be trying to put the girls on the yeah. TikToks and everybody fresh in the real? front. But believe it or not, the flight attendant was like, if you want to turn around and do all that, I'm like, girl, I'm not about to do all that. I've been farted. So, no, I'm not finna do that. I literally, they have BBL. Pillow, the so pillow. Why she so BBL, real? BBL pillow. <laughs> Love it. And sat down. That's all Love I it. did. And then I was on the flight, and you know, God works in mysterious ways. It was <laughs> an older black lady next she to me. Keeps I'm for real. She keep God, God, God my is around her BBL. No, for real. Because another thing was like how girls they say they wake up in excruciating pain. I swear to God, yeah, no I wasn't even no pain. I was chilling. But I mean, you researched it for like ten years. And so. I worked out a lot before I went, and even my Literally. own doctor told me he was like, you know, working out, getting your yeah. muscle yeah. memory, doing all that. That's why you bounce back like that. And I was like, bye bye. I had to. So, so I, how long between mm-hmm. surgeries did you go? Um, I waited one year. Usually, you only have to wait six months, but I waited a, a whole year because me and my best friend went, and she when she went, she got uh, her breast and a BBL done, and so when she went again, she just got her breast done again. So then I just waited for her to do all the things. Yeah. You got a picture the of bestie her? Bestie trip. <clears throat> I do. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I see what she looked like. But no, yes, I no, do. No, not me, the people. <laughs> <laughs> the people want to know. The people just want to know what she looked like. No, she the looked best friend. Good. She looked good. She's fine as hell. We've been so do all, since, like, a lot of your friends grade. have... BBL no, actually, me and my one, me and my one friend, I, I do. I mean, I, me and her are best friends. I have a lot <laughs> yeah, of that's communities. That's a real question. But do the naturally stacked chicks in your crew be like, yo? I mean, cheating. I know because I'm like, <laughs> I don't have one. Can we still be friends? Like, no, no like, like, no, like no, no. no. Do you get saved from the naturally stacked chicks in your crew? No, no, <laughs> Word. no. The girl, it's a lot of my, a lot of my friends have natural asses the whole time, bitch. When you was walking around with that big old fucking donkey, and I was over here with a flat board, I didn't say damn thing so now it's my turn but no for real though my really i am truly blessed on you but no for real my home girls i don't get no shit now from girls who may not know me heard who don't know me because i come from a small town so you know small town facebook you know, oh I yeah they talking Atlanta, they, they definitely talking. talking shit but you know like my real friends i don't get no shade from them they encourage me like, every time they go out there like damn my you really do look good as fuck because motherfuckers was not up with me at five o'clock in the morning when i had to go work out and lose my weight to get my bmi together they was not doing two hour workout sessions fucking eating grapefruit and fucking boiled eggs they was not <laughs> with me but no that brings no, up another right. real you question wasn't with, you wasn't with me shooting it. Oh, I was pre- say that. pre-recording you was talking about your sister mm-hmm. Have had candid. You and your sister have had candid conversations. Your yeah. sister is a what? Now? My sister is a personal trainer by trade. She is. That's her job. She runs a gym in Dallas. Shout out to Lovely Bodies Dallas. Yes, it's one in Atlanta. So too. that's this is a, a way of me reversing it back to Ashley's question about mm-hmm. people close to you. Can you share with the, you were sharing with us off camera, mm-hmm. just a natural conversation about some of your conversations yeah. with her and what they were like. Yeah, know? my sister. She definitely was like, you know, you could have just kept going to the gym. Like she never um, was negative. She she always supported me but she's a personal trainer so she was like you know you could i know you went to the gym and you did work out hard but you could have just keep going to the gym but everybody don't want no fat ass you know what i'm saying my sister don't want no fat ass i want a fat ass and the fat ass yeah. that i wanted was gonna come from a doctor <laughs> she, in my wanted, stomach she wanted, it was not, she wanted it firm yeah she you wanted, know the girls yeah. they like the firm booty mm-hmm. they like the gym booty no i want a booty i yeah. want to i want to ask if we're gonna do it let's do it because that's another thing i'm gonna be honest with you you still have to go to the gym to maintain it i was it just you get about that i was just about to you say that yeah you get the bb you still gotta work out you yeah. still have to work out to I'll maintain see. it. it and so it's, but some of them be working out too much, so they, like, lose too much weight in other places. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't want that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why I'll just get lipo again. I don't even really want to be so that's because that's kind of like the, kinda like the running, that's kinda like the running joke for the ones that don't hit the gym. Mm-hmm. And then they, 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 they're, you know, they have seated, seated postures, like, basically they work a job where they're on the ass most of the time. 
then the ass starts to form. But a it don't. Shape but it don't. But, but but they be trying to play with the girls like your ass gonna drop down to the back of your knees if you don't go to the gym after you have a BBL and that's mm. not the case. Like it's still it's just your own fat. So once the fat you know attaches, mm -hmm. it's gonna be there. It ain't gonna turn into like a. Uh, a tomato, uh, uh, what's it? A green pepper. You know what She's I'm got saying? A green pepper. If the girls don't go to the gym, just if you do want to look, you know what I'm saying, your best. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you don't want to be like me, who I'm gonna go get lipo again on my back. Yeah. You probably go to the gym a little bit more consistently. Put the crab legs down. But put, put, the, put the crab. Why, legs why crab down. Legs? Do as I say, this not as I do. This is oh, the second time crab you attack legs, crab legs. Right. Y'all yeah. have never been. Y'all never been to Pirates World over on Cobb Parkway. It's delicious. How could you? I'm sorry. Say that slowly. Sorry. Where Cobb Park? I'm Cobb Parkway. Pirates World over on Cobb Park. Boil? Pirates Bowl? No, no, no. Nah. You can't. That's <laughs> And where's it at? It's over off Cobb Parkway in Marietta, right down. Notes. No, you yeah, have to. Down. I'm going to tag y'all in their Instagram. Write it. Write it. Write it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Because the Shit. pirate secret pirate sauce bullet. is why I'm going to get Sounds more lipo. Right Sounds uh, good. You want to go to the five gym? times now, about crab. <laughs> you want to go to the gym down. or you want to go get something to eat? And then my friends, like, we just all hang. So, baby, I'm, I'll go to the gym, but I'm going to give me something to eat. But <laughs> do what your doctor tells you. Too. You know, I sit on the clergy board, so do as I say, <laughs> not as I do. Okay, so do so, as I say. so that's that's basically the, the major takeaway from this. If you if you if you're gonna do it, one, do it right. Yeah. And 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 when we say do it right, not just in your desires, but yeah. do it the right way as far as getting doing your research, absolutely, and following okay. all this the thing, the research, all absolutely. the proper protocols, absolutely, mm -hmm. pre op. Yeah, you understand. So, yeah. so I, and if you are going to do it, research, if you are yeah. going to do it, do it for yourself. Don't, don't, don't let no crusty nigga tell you get no BBL. Don't let them mm -hmm. hating ass hoes tell you get no BBL. You have that deep down conversation with yourself, and you do what works best for you. And even to go back to your mental health, because I, I'm, I should, wouldn't even say I'm an advocate in the sense. If you want one, you can come to me for information. I don't go to girls and say, hey, your ass flat. I think you should get a BBL. I don't play like that. I don't want to ever body shame nobody because mm -hmm. I've been big before and I know people mm -hmm. used to make fun of me and people you know were mean to me call me fat all types of things so I don't tell about it oh you should get no BBL but if you are going to get one do it for yourself and listen to what your doctor's saying even you know back to you with the, the, the mental health thing that you mentioned you know don't get down on yourself you have to be realistic with yourself you know what I'm saying if you do look at a picture of a celebrity she done had four BBLs baby you're not going to look like that after one so don't beat yourself up and get depressed because you come out and you might have to go back again if you want to you want to look a certain way or you gonna have to still because bbl is not a weight loss surgery and that's one thing i tell people that's not mm. weight loss surgery you have to if you're bmi or you want to look a certain way mm. a doctor is like a it's like an aide you know what i'm mm. saying he ain't the full teacher he's just an aide so he could be a tutor but he might not get you know he gonna tone up what you already have so if you have to go to the gym don't beat yourself up it's okay do you have to maintain like do you have to constantly and like yours you had two mm -hmm. done in the last what two years three mm -hmm. years two years so mm -hmm. how long is the last do you have to go back like no mm -hmm. so this is it it's not like no maybe like that forever like, oh yeah Oh, yeah. And if it don't, we're going to have some issues. No, but for real, though, it <laughs> no, will yeah, stay seriously. like that. It will you stay said like that. it's not a maintenance? No, it's not a maintenance. Like, you know, with your breasts, which I don't have my breasts done, but with your breasts, sometimes you have to swap them out every 10 to 15 years. The maintenance on the BBL is why you should just go to the gym. Just keep it sitting up, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's not like your ass going to go away. So you have it's to go to the gym, though. Yeah, you should. You, you go to the gym to maintain it. Now, maybe smaller girls... You know, you could probably live your life, but you'll want to watch what you eat. But it's kind of like the same as you get older anyways. You may want to put down the chips and maybe pick up an apple. So mm -hmm. it doesn't fall far more too much far off from just wanting to keep yourself healthy. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And and, and and maintain it, you know. But you don't have to go like me. I would go real, real hard in the gym because I was wanting to lose weight. Now I'm going to go get on the Stairmaster. I'm going to lift some weights, you know what I'm saying? And then... You know, call it a day, but you do want to maintain it. I mean, it's an investment. To me, it's an investment. But the same right. thing as I look mm -hmm. at my bundles. I done paid $700 for these bundles. Baby, we're going to boil these in olive oil before I let these go. I'm going to have to maintain this. So it's the same thing, you know, maintain it. But you, well, you, we, we so got this, <laughs> this is probably a question that we should have asked before, but as far as like your confidence level, mm -hmm. but were you always this like bubbly of a personality? Have, even that, even when your butt was small? Yeah, absolutely. SpongeBob. Oh, okay. First of all, I had to have a dire personality. I had no ass. Yeah, you had no ass. So, <laughs> I so you was, either, you was even more personable, little, right? Little booties matter. No, no they little do, they do. Matter. But you know what I'm saying? I had to, but I, this just really, you know what I'm saying, how I am. I'm a Sagittarius, and then my daddy grew up oh, in Chicago. So that'd be 
Tiff, Bernie Mac when is your birthday? It's December 1st, in case you want to send me a monetary Word. donation. Oh, but no, I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius are dope. That's what's up. My dad grew up with Bernie Mac, so that means we cousins. So uh. I've just been like this my whole life. I've really been like, I'm the youngest, so I think everything should go my way. So I'm just like this, you know? You. All right, so I have a, I have a question. Okay. You're going you're gonna to have to scientifically sift through it because it's a question I don't know how to pose it properly scientifically. Okay. I said I made a little jokey joke earlier about how some women are in the gym and they work out too much and mm-hmm. now they're, they're rest of their body is disproportionate, uh-huh. disproportionate from the BBL. Can you? So it's a fat transfer. Mm-hmm. Is that fat still burnable? Um. Well, usually when you have like, can you still lipo, work it off, so to you speak. You can. You can. Like um, once you when you first have surgery, the doctor will tell you for like the first six to eight weeks, don't go do no whole bunch of cardio because you want the fat to attach. You know, to whatever. You know, the you want the fat to survive. I shouldn't say attach. You want the fat to live back there. But you can burn it. So like, if you go have a BBL and then you do a whole bunch of cardio, it may not go back to as flat as it may have been before. But you can, you know, say I'm lose some of it. That's why. After a BBL, they'll tell you, you know, like maybe lift weight, choose resistance bands. You don't have to do two hours of cardio no more like we was doing before. But you can lose fat. You can lose fat in those areas. Or it will minimize, I should say. Even if you have it transferred, you could still like if I do a whole bunch of cardio like my butt, it'll get smaller. Which why I ain't gonna go do none of that. <laughs> <laughs> so so I asked you that because I remember reading somewhere yesterday mm-hmm. where it's saying that you have to go like every five to six years. But so if you're, you're telling me if you maintain in the gym and you get the, the Is that a shape up, oh baby, I, I'm just it was saying about the BBL. It might it be now. Like that's nothing that years. I have with the with the, with the extensive research I've done in the BBL clergy board that I sit on. Me and my because you sit on going in no five years now. If you want to go get another BBL, that's fine. But you don't have to like like I said with your breast. Some well they have the gummy implants and stuff. Now I don't know too much about it because I haven't had my breast done. But you do sometimes have to go get them swapped out every 10, 15 years. With a BBL, you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Go get no maintenance because your butt is not gonna droop down to your knees if you know you don't go to the gym. Or gravity kind of sags. Yeah, when you get older. it may, yeah, which gonna happen anyway. So, you know, but if you want to go get it lifted up, you should. I would. I Sorry, might. you're going to go a third? No, nah, I ain't going to go. I, I, I wouldn't be for maintenance. <laughs> I was going again. Yeah, I would. Absolutely. A bigger one. No, no, I'm not. I wouldn't go get my butt no bigger. But would I go get more lipo? Absolutely. For sure. So are you doubt. content now, the level yes. now with your with your ass? Absolutely. Some days I really like because I, once I had got dressed, I said, oh, when I got dressed today, I said, girl, God damn, you got you a fat ass. So I said, but the Lord is, God is good, you know? Yes. Best God money, is good again. Yeah. Best God money, is good again. Best Go on money and do I it. ever spent. <laughs> best money I ever spent. Uh, and the doctor's <laughs> name. Give my God shout out. Your, my doc- your doctor, because God bless him, yeah. obviously. My doctor, no, my doctor was Dr. Dress at Ivana Plastic Surgery in Miami. He's just sweet, hold on, hold on, short, say, white. Say it slower, say, slower. Say, say that one spell more time. Okay, his name is Dr. Dress, like a dress you put on. D R E S S at Havana Plastic Surgery in Miami. He really is. I don't want to say that nigga. He is that guy. Like you know, I tell him, you know, you go that. God bless the surgeon. He did what he needed to do, but we prayed. I'm trying to tell you, God had His hand on what I had going on. We Preach. prayed before birth, both my surgeries. Preach. He knew what I needed. He knew what I needed. Hit the and, chin, and, hit the chin up too, and suck that out. Needed it. Yes, sir. yes I needed it. So I y'all did. pray before you went. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I mean, that's great. The anesthesiologist is here, you so pray we can pray I... because they had to get that shit together. I had to get up off this table and go put them clothes on that I done motherfucker paid from Fashion Nova that only gonna fit once I get a BBL. What? Yes, you gotta get me up so off the this table. So the BBL, the two BBLs you've had, mm-hmm. do you do want it. right? He blessed, <laughs> bless the hands he, of the doctor. He, he blessed you with. Yeah. Do you want any other surgeries, or no, are you you good? No. I don't judge nobody. I don't judge. It's not nobody, about yeah, it's not about judgment. But I don't think I don't I don't I don't I wouldn't like go get my nose done or nothing like that. I don't think. And it may even sound hypocritical of me to say that because people will be like, I don't think you need to be BL, love yourself the way that you are. And I'm going to go get, I'm going to go give me some like, I'm going to go get that. But as far as like touching my face and thankfully I've always had big ass soup cooler lips. So I don't have to get no yeah. fillers, but like when I go get my teeth done, probably, you know, maybe, but, uh, as far as like any other surgeries, I'm good. Now I don't have no kids. So if I give a nigga a baby, he's gonna have to get my titties done. Would you? But um, probably a little tummy tuck. But I don't have no kids, so I wouldn't act like I would. So as of now, as of now, I'm good. Like the only thing I would do is get some lipo, because I'm 
gonna eat chicken wings and shit. But I really could probably just go to the gym. But I'm an honest person. Like I'll go to the gym, but I'd rather go to lunch. So I would get more <laughs> lipo, but I wouldn't go get. I don't. I don't. I don't need no. Like my ass is big now. Okay, so. so somebody out there that may be watching. Mm-hmm. I was gonna ask that question, Tiff. Good job. Maybe watching. They're contemplating. Like you know, she keeps saying like the bag, the bag, the bag. And they don't have sponsors. Mm. So you don't have to mm. give the exact number, but like a range of how much it costs for the first. And was it the same for the second one as well? Um, My first one, I ain't even going to hold you. Avana sent me an email for a discount because they fuck with me. I'm trying to tell you how God was looking out. So they had a special and then they have take their, they took their deposits from like $1,000 to like $500. Oh, baby, put it on the debit card. Like it, put it on there. But for me, like my first one, because I added, uh, I, I added, don't, I added chin lipo. And what else did I add? I added. Okay, so I just added chin lipo with my first one. So my first one, once I paid, cause I had got, cause I wasn't playing around. I hired a private nurse. Uh, you have to have massages after yeah, you get BBL. I, I had a, mm-hmm. I had a private massage lady come to the house. So my whole total with my BBL and my flights with my um, nurse, everything included. My first one was probably like closer to like eight eighty five hundred, maybe nine, cause we got a rental okay. car and stuff. And then my second one. They don't give you a returner discount. They do not. Maybe we should look into that. But they don't give you a frequent flyer miles. So my next one, like the surgery itself, they was like, it's like five, six. And then I added arm lipo. And I didn't hire a private nurse this time because I mean, now I'm an expert and my daddy was there. So, so you, um, you say arm and chin lipo. So yeah. they're taking the, they're they're taking taking the fat out of it. it. So does it cost more for whatever part of the body? Mm-hmm. Oh. But it's, a, it's dependent upon the doctor, but my doctor was $500 for each additional the, area lipo. Oh, oh, say that again. Say it that was uh, $500 for each, from each additional, additional area. I was just about to ask that. Yeah, so I did chin and arm. So It'd be, oh, okay. Yeah. So, so if you're someone that's slimmer, and you don't have, <coughs> you don't have necessarily have the fat from the all the other places to you take from. You can just from. get the 360 lipo because the 360 lipo is 13. I think it's like 12 or 13 areas of lipo that just come with it, yeah. which is around your midsection. So if you don't have no lipo that you want from other areas, then they just use. Yeah, it from so your if stomach. you're small all over, but you just don't have a big ass, so what? what, what where where, where you getting the 360 from? Where you getting the 360 from? That's why I was saying a lot of now. girls. I like my boobs. I'm no, that's why I said a lot of girls have to gain weight. Like a lot of my friends have to gain like 10, 15 pounds. Yeah, no, you don't want to. To take it out, they don't want to take it out your titties. So you know, but no, like a lot of my friends. That's why I was saying some people get injections because it takes a minute to gain some weight, and so a lot of girls have to gain weight to get a BBL. Now that was not my ministry because I had right, right. I had on the person she I, sits on I, 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 on her I, person. I, she I, sits I had on. enough for, 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 for seven home, bitches to get a BBL. <laughs> so you know that was not my ministry. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing, time in I don't know <laughs> nothing about having to get no get, gain no weight. You know, I had enough fat for everyone. Anyway. So I didn't have to gain no weight. I had to lose weight. Mm-hmm. So that re- real self, real self, real what? self. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's an app. You can get on there anything you want to get done. They have a website. Um, it's an app. What they do is real. It's just realself.com. You can on there and research any type of plastic surgery. You can get to look about your knees. You can get on there and talk about yeah. look about any. They have penis enlargement. No, they got penis enlargement on there too, baby. They do they have everything on. on the real self. Where app. is your deal with that? Who you? <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> Frank, if you don't look, have look. one, I want to see it at this point. He ain't, dro- ain't dropping no names tonight, is yeah. he, Jay? Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know if I don't know that much about <laughs> that person. <laughs> like, what you been dealing with? <laughs> I don't know that much about that person. And we might not even know because that's not. another I can, thing. I can show you how to curb that, by the way. <laughs> I mean, you I made this far. I mean, to, I did, she did listen to that Lotto song. Yeah. You know how to, but, you know, <laughs> like, it's a it's a lot of people, like, if you don't know me personally and you just meet me, like, yeah. yesterday when I was walking in the Strokers, this lady literally asked me to touch my butt. She's like, your butt looks so good. She's like, can I touch it? And so me, I'm like, girl, is it soft? She was like, yeah. I said, good. I paid a lot of money for this ass. <laughs> and she was like, you got a PBR so baby. Two. Put some respect <laughs> on it. Yes. She's like, oh, you look good. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? So I just say that, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of niggas, they be like, BBL this, BBL that. But if I don't tell you, I ha- if you didn't know me and I was SpongeBob, you may not even know because I want a big ass, but I, you could look and be like, oh, she got a nice ass. Don't have to be no big old gigantic gigantic ass that mm-hmm. I can't fit no pants or nothing. That's why I, when I go to get more life, I wouldn't get my butt. I think what I, not think I know what I respect so much about this conversation with you and just you in general, I just mm-hmm. met you like two hours ago, <laughs> is that 
A, you own your truth. You're like very confident in who you are, and, and there's no lying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You meet some people out here who will, will deny, deny, deny. Like, no, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't even. I have one. What for though? Like, if yeah. you own it, like this is who I am. Yeah. This is what I had done. Whatever. Yeah. It's more power to you. I'm not yeah. judging you. Yeah. It's one of the wait, that wait, lies you have one and, of those and get defensive. Tart, tart tattoos. Huh? You know. You know. I've heard the Instagram uh, models are. <laughs> I've heard. I, I've heard the Instagram <laughs> models. Um, they have like that that that. He's just always that eagle's ta- the eagle. I've heard it's always that eagle tattoo. Oh, to cover up the, 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 the cover up the scar. Heck no, no, no. 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 Stop talking about. No, she's so real. Listen. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe if you see them scars and knew that I had a BBL, you should know. Know what you're doing when you approach me, right? Because I, yeah, hey, yo, don't think that I'm not a bitch who don't want to get more surgeries. So don't come over here wanting to go hiking and shit. I want to go get some lipo. Okay, I love it. <laughs> I don't we, know. We are definitely gonna have Maya back on TNC. I don't know what capacity, but in some capacity, because your energy is just, I, I just time. love the energy you just you bring. It's, it's so so authentic, right? Yes, no, which is what we stand it's for. It's not about if you agree. Or, or don't disagree. Yes. Yeah. It's just her truth. Yeah. Owning your it. truth from yeah. your from your narrative. Yes. So, so you gave us the information of the gentleman, uh, the doctor, excuse mm-hmm. me, that did your surgery down mm-hmm. in Miami, and you know, we, you being such an advocate for the surgery, can you drop your Instagram where people could follow you? Of course. Is, is it public? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, know, I had You're a feeling. I had a feeling. You're gonna see this ass. ass. So that was actually my question. I was gonna pose it a different you, way. Because you, yeah. you have, because you have, because you have, a, you said you have a surgery IG, right? Yes, I do. So yes. yeah, for people that are, are are definitely wanting to hit you up to yes. get more information, if they, I, I don't know what information they couldn't have gotten from this show, Listen. but if they just want to have a one-on-one conversation with you. You know, just to consult with you. I mean, even though of they're course. not a doctor, but you you could be kind of like somewhat of she a... Is, she, she, you could be she's a life on a coach. clergy. She's on a clergy, okay? so you could be a life Get coach. Get it right. Put some respect girls, on her name. On a clergy questions. board. Don't you be ashamed. You can come ask me. Because yeah. a lot of girls, well, my boyfriend don't want me going to get no... Be- leave that nigga. I don't give a fuck. Do what make you happy. But no, for my Instagram, my name is my own Instagram. My Instagram, my surgery Instagram is dress, like D-R-E-S-S-D-I-D, that, dress, did, that, one, two, seven. And then my personal Instagram is Maya. V T H E E M A Y A T H E. My both again slowly. Okay. Yeah. So my surgery Instagram is dress did that one two seven. Did that one two seven. And then my personal Instagram is Maya the Menace. One, two, seven. Maya, I love B- it. <laughs> and B- even B- though we, we talked about a lot and you just gave so much information. Mm-hmm. I, we appreciate that. Thank you. Are there any takeaways that we didn't discuss, that we didn't mention, or didn't ask mm-hmm. that you want? Because somebody out there may be listening. Somebody, a 19 year old girl that you was yeah. back in the day from a small town, you know, is yeah. curious. They want information about it. They're nervous. They're scared. Anything that you can drop, final gems for somebody out there that's questioning, or, or even take it one step further. Those out there that are so negative against it and have right. the, the hating mentality. Mm-hmm. I just think you have to, you, one thing you have to do is one, you don't really, shouldn't speak on too much that ain't never affected you. I ain't going to sit here and tell you about having no baby. I ain't had one. So I'm not about to talk about things that I don't know about. But one thing you have to do is let people do what make them happy. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like you going and, and, and snorting no cocaine. If somebody wants to do something to make them happy, you probably better off encouraging them. You don't know what people is going through. You know what I'm saying? People try to pick apart BBLs like, oh my gosh, you have to have a mental illness to, to be willing to lay on the table and risk your life. You know what I'm saying? And what's really going to make them mad is they asked me, was I willing to die behind a fat ass? Well, according to your statistics, baby, yes, I was twice. And I know you don't like that, but that's the truth. You know what I'm saying? If it upsets you, yeah, that's real. Kiss my ass now because it's fat. So I don't know what to tell you, but my my true gem would be one, I was a grown, grown girl when I went and got my first baby. Right. I didn't let nobody influence me. I went at my own pace. I got my money together. If you do have a sponsor, and don't let them shame you. If a nigga <laughs> want to pay for it, let them pay for it. If a, if a lesbian, because lesbians like to pay bills. If the lesbian, Lesbians want to pay for it. Let them pay for it. Don't let nobody shame you out of nothing. I just had you, the conversation. They do. They, they really do. do. I just had the I conversation. I was a lesbian in my last life. Lesbians life. be paid. They, they pay bills. They be paid they masters. They pay bills. They pay bills. They'll buy you a car too. Shout out to you, even though she was a cheater. But that's not the <laughs> point. That's not the point. That's not the point. <laughs> what I'm saying. What I'm We're going to have her back. <laughs> Get her on the schedule. Hold Get her on the schedule ASAP for season two. Yeah. Have her back. See, this, this may, this, yeah, right. Because this may be for the return. This is more. We're definitely going to have you yeah. back, right? But. Hey, so so something that you just said pivotal. Mm-hmm. You said you was a grown woman. Yes. When you made this decision, yes, yes. I was grown because you were grown to make the decision grown. for yourself and pay grown. for it for yourself. Yes. Question. Yeah. And you don't. You, maybe you want to answer this. Maybe you don't. Mm-hmm. 
D Wade and his baby mama uh-huh. right right now in that same kind of like mm-hmm. predicament where he wants to the the daughter wants to get some sex change Zaya mm-hmm. Wade yeah but do you the, the age that's that's the only thing I'm focusing on I'm not I'm yeah. not I'm not asking a right or wrong that's me too that's or the anything. same thing I agree I say that all the time because like even like just to go into that like I said I was a lesbian in my later life but I was grown you know my parents you should just be of a certain age if you want to do whatever you want to do I'm not judging nobody I, if you were born like that you transitioned into whoever same thing with the BBL maybe you don't need to be 16 17 absolutely mm. not but you I don't even want to say 19 21 I was when I got my first BBL I was 30 years old right. I was super grown right so I just feel like maybe 21 22 everyone's circumstances is different maybe someone aspires to go work at Magic City and I don't want to mm. deter them from that mm-hmm. because I don't want to knock your dreams I just say do what you think is best for you you know what I'm saying like because some people say well I'm gonna wait till I have kids to have a BBL to hell with them children okay mm-hmm. i'm gonna go get my ass done mm-hmm. but i was 30 years old i wasn't 21 i knew it was a sound and, decision and, and, for and, and, me. and in that case do it at 16 what is it? Yeah. you know what i'm saying like so like 16 for me even to go back to that situation i don't have any children but i truly feel this way whatever my child would be i would embrace it but once we mm-hmm. 16 17 even when i was laying with the lesbians like my mama used to say man or woman <laughs> you ain't about to be laying up in no bed doing all this <laughs> kissing and rubbing you 16 17 and i pay the bills here so i just feel Mm. like whatever you want to be maybe we could be that once we become 18 19 Mm -hmm. and we've kind of and i'm not saying you don't know what's going on with life because i've never been in that situation i've always wanted to be a bitch come on now i don't want to pay to get my ass done you know i don't want it to be who who i've been so i'm not i'm not judging nobody i but 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 i do think maybe you know father forgive me you want to go get your penis removed? Maybe we should wait till we're not. Okay, years let's old. let's drop that pin right there. Let's drop that pin <laughs> right there for, for next you. convo. That was the question. That, that was real. That was real. I just think you. maybe because yeah. you know when you have money and you have that affluence, it doesn't change that life is still real life. Yeah. Just because you can afford just something, you can afford it. don't mean what you like. Amen. Even when I said about my tattoos, the tattoos that I got at fifteen. Why do I have a gun on my goddamn shoulder? I was a clown. Should never did no shit like that. Now I'm 30 and I'm on Groupon. Finna have to go some damn shop and get it removed and shit. Just wait is all I'm saying. And it's about the age. That's the only thing I'm talking about. I'm not talking about nothing else. Yeah, you so are. Real. But the age I would appreciate is the only that. thing I appreciate I'm talking that. about. I appreciate that. At 16, that. Absolutely real. The clergy. shit was not right. Clergy, let the church know? say amen. I stay close to the Lord because Lord knows I'm a heathen. So that's <laughs> why. I stay that's close that collection to the Lord. Point. I'm, I'm a heathen, so I have to Baptist, stay close Baptist, to the Lord. Listen, <laughs> I'm a visitor BBL. to the BBL church. Bethlehem Baptist Church. Bethlehem Baptist Church of Lithonia. Give it out of the God. It's just a BBL. <laughs> in my home pastor. <laughs> Given out of all the plastic surgeons on this beautiful Sunday. <laughs> only ones, only mean? ones. <laughs> praise them. Fuck you mean. No, I, I said love praise them. Fuck you mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, God. hey, <laughs> And on that note, <laughs> I want you guys to get familiar because Maya will be back on TNC. I had TNC. a wonderful time. Thank you yeah. so much. I had we a appreciate. Time. Yes. No, the Emmy. Honestly, time. like. Yes. If Frankie brought it to us, you know, Jay was like, obviously he's four, and I was like, "What are we discussing? We just talking about yeah. she got a big ass now? Like we, are we being informative? Be I don't like the girls that. be having I big asses and nothing forward. else. The what big ass ain't gonna carry you through life. Have some <laughs> personality. Have a personality. What do you, you mean have, by that? <laughs> I, I tell, you, I tell, you, I tell you full responsibility this one. I'm the program director. I came up with this. So. <laughs> Thank you I'll for taking that off of me. I don't understand what you mean by that. Jay, Jay wasn't. I said Jay was all for it. I was just like, are we doing it for a moment? Thank, thank you, thank you, Frankie. Because, as we know, in our community, come on here and promote our own. Yeah, fans. no, because our, our community, whatever, is, is getting bigger and bigger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, especially during COVID, we seen the on Instagram, yeah. we seen the, the videos the, of Atlanta the, Airport the with twenty some women. Ninety five percent of the flight. They had a flight. With, yeah. They had the BBLs. Hey, Glory to God that I didn't get my surgery canceled because of COVID. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, so real out here. Yeah, it was it was, it was a lot. So was in our real. community, we try to you know talk yeah. about stuff in our community, and this is big in our community now. Right, and it's not about opinions. Form, Truth, exactly. No we wanted yeah. to be educational because yeah. then you really provide. I didn't expect you to be the girl. You, you, you did your research. I'm <laughs> sorry. And, and not I just like a year to. or two. Like you did almost no, 10, did. 15 years to. of research before you decided to, yeah. to do it. So mm-hmm. I salute you for that. Yeah. And also, thank you own your truth. I do. I do. So thank you for showing up and I just do. really of being you. Who thank you, you are. For me. I had a great time. Yes. I really appreciate yes, it. It was a wonderful conversation. You know, you'll be back. I love it. I love it. I had a great time. I love when the energy flows. And I do thank you so much for having me here. And like I said, I don't encourage nobody to do nothing that's not 
not for them like you said i own my truth i know i was gonna go give me a big ass and if that was gonna upset anybody even if i would have lost family and friends okay listen yeah, I'm willing to risk it all behind a big ass. And that may upset some folks. But I don't give a damn. I paid a lot of money for this booty. And if you could touch it, you see it's soft, you understand. <laughs> Why well, I gotta doctor my money, okay? Make sure you do it right though. Make love sure it. Right. We love Make it. Sure we love it. Right. Thank, thank you so you. much, Maya. Thank you so much. Great, this was dope. Great, great. This Close was dope. Out, Jay. <laughs> Yeah, so if you want to watch the video version mm-hmm. of this podcast, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash the truth no chaser. Check yes, us out. Yes. And also at the truth no chaser, the other episodes that we have. And you can also purchase our cool merch on there as well. So get fresh like us. You know what I'm saying? And until next time, keep walking in your truth, black people. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat>